Hi, this is Ann with Ann Ceramics again, and today we're going to work with the, the color, um, the washes, the picklings, and we're going to work on this Christmas tree. I'm going to finish uh, base coating it in uh, Kimple's 918 Forest Green, and uh, I'm going to use a stiff brush for this. And I get it wet a little bit in some water. And then I start working and I kind of work from the bottom up because that's always the hardest part to get to. And I dip my brush in the water. This makes the base coat go on just a little bit easier to get into all the little cracks and crevices. It also kind of dilutes the color down so you automatically kind of end up with a uh, variation in the color when you do this, this way. By uh, diluting the color, weakening it, thinning it, whatever however you want to say it, down with some water, uh, it also um, makes it gives you better and easier coverage. One of the things, if you're base coating, regardless of what color you're base coating in, if you have white specks show up after you get it all base coated and you've let it dry and you think everything is great, and you go back and you look at it, and there is white specks on it. And that means that your color was actually too thick and you want to thin it down a little bit so that it makes it a little bit easier to work with. And you get this variation of this color and that just makes it really cool. And now that's kind of my trick for base coating is to thin the base coat down and work with a stiff brush if you have uh, a highly detailed piece like this Christmas tree. Uh, if you have a smooth piece, of course, you're going to use a soft brush and you won't have to worry about thinning it down a little bit. I'm just kind of highlighting that and going over it a little bit. On the back side, I did that earlier, and I've already, you can kind of see the differences in the tones of it, and I've already uh, done part of it with the black wash. Uh, one of the things, and again, I'm using a stiff brush. And this time I'm using the black color wash, uh, the black wash. Going to have to get the word color wash out of my vocabulary. It's not a color wash, it's just a wash. And we put this out, and again, I dip my brush in and out of the water to kind of thin it down a little bit. And you just kind of go over the piece. I did this earlier so it's good and dry to work on. Again, by diluting it down a little bit and uh, just with a little bit of water that's on the brush, that makes it go down into the cracks and crevices uh, easier. And that's really what you want on this. You want it in the cracks uh, and crevices because that's what gives you your antiquing look and gives it the piece some depth and uh, distinction. So I've gone down this one side. And then I've got a damp sponge, and you don't want it too, too damp, it makes it too wet. Then you just start wiping it back. And you probably can't tell a whole lot of difference other than it's shiny at this point because it's still wet. But you're just hitting the, the tops of the area, and that leaves it kind of dark on the outside, and lets it go. And it just adds some depth and dimension to your piece. I'm going to come over here and get the rest of this other side. You can see I'm working kind of fast and just getting it into all the little areas that I need it to go. And my sponge is just laying on my paper over here. I did not stick it back in the water because it's plenty wet. And it's also got plenty of stuff. Of stuff on it so I'm going to keep turning my sponge so that it keeps pulling it off and that's what it's going to look like when you get through with it it's kind of a uh, detailed adds more uh, up to your painting and this bottom part over here I did this earlier so it's good and dry so I'm gonna go ahead and and do it while we're here working Get a little more water in that. Just kind of, as you play with these colors, you'll learn what to do and what not to do. 
as an older ceramicist. I've been at this since 85. Um, getting some of the older terminologies and moving up to the new stuff come kind of is hard. Um, old habits die hard. And so, if I say something that you don't understand, uh, please come back. Uh, send me an email at ann at annceramics.com and uh, ask me any questions that you have. Uh, if I don't know the answers, I know plenty of people out there that probably do. Uh, I don't profess to know everything or have all the answers. You can even, at, at, if you want to, turn this upside down when you're down here at the very bottom and it's hard to get to and there's really deep, turn it upside down so that you get it under there and get it where you want it. And then start wiping it back. Now when your sponge gets pretty well saturated with the black and it's not pulling off anything anymore, then just take and wash it out, dry it with a paper towel, lay it down, and then you'll be ready for the next time. And so just kind of working fast. You don't take a whole lot of time with this. One nice thing about it is that you just kind of keep moving. If you get it too thin, you don't end up with enough color uh, at times. So that's really something you just kind of get a feel for. Uh, I really... I enjoy using a good a good wash. Uh, it really cuts down on some of your paint time sometimes because it does a lot of the work for you. And particularly if you can antique a piece with the wash and uh, not not have to base coat it, antique it, and then wipe it back. You get your antiquing and your base coating all in one, one setting. And we can show you that a little bit better when we do the base for this tree. I've just about got this now. Do you see how fast this has gone? Once we get it base coated with the green and then to antique this on top of it. So your, your washes are good to use both as a base coat and then to paint on top of it and also as an antiquing on top of a color. Sometimes I, it just doesn't want to move for me and sometimes I, so I come back. And one of the other things that we're going to do to this tree before we get through with it is we're going to fly speck it and put the snow on the tips of the branches. And there, we've got, I think we've got all of the black wash on there that we want. And that gives us a nice looking deep colored tree. Give it a once over to make sure everything's just the way I want it. If you didn't want this this dark, you could start out with a lighter color green. And 